Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and it's come to my attention that the paranoia about RFID snooping and how people are going to grab all your credit card information when you don't even realize it, just sit in your pocket and they walk by and zoop, they got all your credit card information so they can go home and make fake credit cards and do all their purchasing. It's getting out of hand because that's really based on misinformation, even though it's been played up a lot in the news lately and that's what has people talking because it seems like a major thing to be afraid of and fear, fear is a big motivator. It makes you go out and spend money to protect yourself, which is how this topic came up that I got this in the mail yesterday from my father. This is the scanner guard card and this he told me I'd better get in my wallet to protect me against the RFID theft and um, it's two little cards that you slide into your wallet on each side of your credit cards and that'll keep you safe. Now will that work? I believe it will. I imagine they put some little bit of metal in there. All you need is a little bit of foil or something and it will block the RFID power signal from getting to the chip so the chip won't activate and won't be able to send the information back. So that, that will solve the problem but the question is was there a problem to be solved? How at risk are you and your credit card numbers if you have an RFID credit card? Well, I went to my wallet after I got this from my father, and I looked through my wallet at my unfortunately numerous credit cards. Not one of them is RFID enabled. I looked at my driver's license, I looked at my library card, I looked at my membership cards, my insurance card. Nothing with RFID in my wallet. So obviously I don't need these. Nobody's going to be stealing my RFID information if I don't have any of them, but I hear they're coming. I do hear that um, some people have gotten the cards now and they do indicate on them that they are RFID. So the question is, how much do you need to worry if you have one of those in your wallet? Well, really not very much. The way it works with the RFID chip is that yes, it's passive until an RFID scanner goes near it. And when that happens, that transmits, the scanner will transmit energy at a certain wavelength that powers the chip up, basically wakes it up from its sleep, and the chip does the only thing it knows how to do, which is transmit the information that it's programmed with. So the question is, what information is programmed into an RFID chip on a credit card? Now I can't speak to the older ones from years ago, apparently they didn't, they weren't so concerned about security at that point, and so um, those may have been at some risk, but if you get a new modern recently issued credit card from a credit card company, what's on that credit card RFID tag is not going to be your real credit card number and it's also certainly not going to have your name, your address, the security code from the back of the card, any of that. It does have a number, maybe a dummy credit card number and what that dummy credit card number, the, the reason it's of any use, the, the way the RFID chip helps out the store is when you wave your credit card by the, the little scanner that dummy credit card number goes into the store's system. It goes into a database, some deal between the store and the credit card um, bank and so forth, and it accesses a database there where they do have your real credit card number. So then that's what the, the whatever you're buying at the store gets, does get charged to your actual credit card. But on the credit card itself, the RFID tag doesn't have your actual credit card number. And it doesn't have other information about you. That's one thing. Another thing, the number on the card is encrypted, which means the number that you, if you just grab what it says out of, the, uh, out of the RFID tag and look at it, that's not even the dummy card number. That's another number that's scrambled up and you've got to descramble it. You've got to know the code for descrambling it just to get to the dummy card number. And on top of that, with just the card number, assuming somehow you got just the card number, it's not going to be very easy to make any purchases without being able to put in the name of the person who owns the card. Usually they also verify it with zip code, with phone number. Um, places that are doing a thorough job also ask for the, the, the security code on the back of the card, which you can only, it's only printed there, and you have to actually see it to know it. That's not encoded in the, in the chip or anything. So honestly, I'm not that worried about it. I'm on the hook, it's true, for $50 if my credit card gets stolen, the first $50 I'm on the hook for, but the $4,000 sound system that the person ordered, the credit card company and the store are on the hook for the other $3,950. I think they've got a pretty good motivation to not put some completely untested and unsecure system out there into their new credit cards. It just doesn't really make any sense.
And as far as my own security, well, there's never been a documented case of anybody having their credit card information stolen by RFID snooping. But there are lots of documented cases of having to give your credit card to someone, especially at a restaurant, where they take it and whoop, they disappear somewhere and then they come back after a bit and you sign the receipt and give them a big tip. And then you go, little do you know that they um, could have made a copy of your credit card number, all the information, not just the number, but your name and the code on the back and all of that. Or they could have run it through one of these little swipers that pull all that information off the magnetic strip. Or, what's happened to me, they uh, ran it more than once, so they not, I not only paid for my meal, I paid for somebody else's meal. Whether that was mistaken or not, it can happen that easily. So, after all this, you're still concerned that somebody's going to steal your credit card information and they're up to no good. You can use this solution. I'm, I'm pretty confident it would work. Um, this is the scanner guard card. I'll put a link down below if you want to look to what the reviews are about it. Now, I happen to like a very thin wallet. This wallet is the Allet, the world's thinnest wallet. It's made out of a material that um, they make sales out of, I think. And so it, it, it doesn't rip very easily is the main thing and it's also very thin. But they can't put, they don't seem to be able to yet put the me that metal mesh into this without making it too inflexible. Though the same company that makes this wallet does, I just looked, and they do make an RFID safe wallet. It's made of leather, so it's not going to be as super thin as this wallet. But um, it will provide complete RFID protection, so I'll put a link to that down below too if, if you still think you really need to worry about it.